Okay, this is a uh, this is actually a knot I was taught uh, recently while on a salmon fishing trip on up on the Lower Oracle uh, in Scotland uh, by two of the gillies up there, Stephen and Peter, uh, who use this knot very effectively, and it's a great way of attaching your leader. Um, to the end of your fly line. Now obviously this fly line doesn't have a welded loop on or anything. Um, it's just basically a, a blank end on there. So the beauty of this knot is really it, it creates uh, almost full fail safe connection between your leader and fly line. Uh, but also it's uh, it's a very tight and, and close knot that creates very little disturbance on the water when you're uh, when you're casting and that. So uh, for that purpose, it's it's a sort of not my go-to not now. Obviously, when attaching the leader, uh, rather than loop, using a loop-to-loop -loop attachment. Um, so starting off, uh, so I've got a, I've just done a figure of eight loop in the end of my leader. Uh, for this purposes, I'm using Maxima Ultra Green 15 pound mono, and um, right to start this off, we we feed the fly line up through the back of the loop then what we do we bring it round underneath and then feed it back through the top of the loop again grab hold of that now as you see when you pull this down you you've got like a loop within a loop and um, we're not going to pull it down too tight we'll just leave a hole in the middle of that for now Take hold of that with your fingers and keep everything nice and firm. Then with the tag end that we've got here, this tag end we're just going to feed round. Then come back underneath and through that, that hole that we've got between the two loops. Grab hold of that tag end. And just pull down tight on that. You're sort of creating like a figure of eight knot in the on the end of your uh, fly line, and the beauty of this really, your leader comes directly straight off the back of that that bottom loop. And um, what we do then, just to get everything nice and tight, we take a pair of, uh, of forceps, grab hold of the tag end. Then what I would normally do now is pull that down really tight, pull it all nice and tight, and um, and trim off the tag end. I'm not going to do it in this case because I'm going to set this up when I'm on the bank um, and determine the length of leader that I want at that point. Um, but for this de demonstration, as you can see, you've got a really nice knot there. If you can see that, pick up on that. That sort of creates a nice slim line attachment between the two and the great thing about this knot the the harder you pull on it the tighter this knot gets so there's obviously no chance of this coming apart you know when you've got a fish of a lifetime on which is um which is the last thing you want really so that's basically the knot that i've been shown by the gillies up in uh, on the lower oracle in scotland and to be fair it works perfectly. I've got no issues at all with this knot. And um, yeah, at the moment, I'm unlikely to use anything else because it, it does work well and it creates a really nice slimline uh, connection between the two.